Hey guys, Tony Maritato here. So this is a quick video talking about the PICOS enrollment process for those of you who are thinking about becoming contracted Medicare providers in private practice. So one of the biggest hangups that I'm seeing so many therapists get into is when they start their initial enrollment process, they don't realize that their business name listed on their IRS documents, the SS4, that has your uh, tax identification number and your business name, that name is different than what's on your business bank account, or it's different than what's on your um, NPI, organizational type two MPI. So just be sure it's much, much better to fix these discrepancies now before you begin your initial enrollment to become a contracted Medicare provider. Look at your IRS document. Make sure that the name shows exactly the same. If there's a comma, put a comma. If there's an LLC, put an LLC. If there's no LLC, make sure it's not. Just whatever your IRS document that shows your tax identification number, that's the same as your employer identification number. Whatever your name shows up as on that document, make sure it matches exactly how you submit your uh, organizational type two MPI business name and make sure it matches exactly how the bank has your business name listed on the bank account. It will save you a ton of headache, whether it's you submitting your own enrollment, you whether you're using one of my courses or you're using my service to do it for you. Guys, if you have other questions or if you just wanna leave some feedback, let us know how the process went for you. Post them in the YouTube video comments. I think other providers would greatly appreciate to hear some of the, the challenges or the benefits that you've experienced going through the process. Otherwise, guys, I'll catch you on the next video.